Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Data Zombie. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create three different types of bar graphs. As you can see, we're showing three right here. They're all really showing you a state, profit, and sales uh, visualization, different ways of doing it. There's, there's a lot of value in just knowing how to make them as well as understanding what goes into them. So I'm going to show you guys how to create this. It's pretty simple and you could definitely take your data visualization to the next level. All right, so to start, I'm using the Superstore. Uh, everyone should have it, it's pretty simple. As you could see, I have a few states, I have my profit, I have my sales. So let's go ahead and start. get started. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. The first chart we're gonna create is called the versus chart, or at least that's what I'm calling it. Uh, you've seen this very, very often when you wanna point the bar charts in different directions. Now, the way of doing this is actually pretty simple. You're gonna locate for me the profit, the one you wanna flip and just change the value to negative and that will give you a flipped chart. Ideally, you want to make sure you have a dual axis. Set it back to bars. Oh, not lines, sorry. Bars, both of them. Now, the reason I like to do dual axis is because I'd like to have a synchronized axis. Uh, there you go, synchronized axis, which will give you a much better look. The last thing to do is that if you notice, we have a negative label. So if I click on the pill, I could actually just bring that pill into my label and then make the correction of removing the sum. This would be the same as just bringing the sum pill into here. All right, so there you have it. That is the first way to create a chart. Let's go ahead and duplicate this and go into the second chart. This chart is a bit of a, it looks like a bullet. I'm not sure what it would be called, but let's go ahead and get started. So we have the same two pieces of information. What we want to do essentially is create this chart right here, the bottom chart. So what we'll do, go ahead and do is take the profit, set it on the right side. Now, once we click on the profit, we want to turn this into a circle. As you can see, it starts to take shape. Now, just as before, we're going to do a dual axis, followed by a synchronized axis. And then selecting both pills, we'll make sure that we have it set to a bar. That's the starting point. Now, what we want to do essentially is take the profit and turn it into a circle. It creates a circle inside of a value. So what we'll do for now is stretch the view. Say for sales, we actually want to make it a lot smaller so that we start to get a nice view. For profit, we're going to make this a little bigger. Now, as you can see, we have the 24,000 appearing inside. So if I hit on the profit, I could actually bring the profit into the text. And this should allow me to right click format. I'm going to go ahead and set this up to a currency with no uh, decimals. Set the units to be thousands and just exit out. The last thing we'll want to do is make sure that that is in the middle. And let's say we want to make it white font. So just like that. There you have it. Now, what I had done previously is that I took the sales and I wanted to actually add the state into the label there and then also add the sales so by dragging both of them you have sales for both of them now you're able to hide your header and there you go you're able to create the same chart you've seen this is a very useful thing to know now let's say you guys actually wanted to instead of showing 76,000 show a percentage the way you would do this is actually pretty simple you hit on the profit and as you notice here our text is just profit now, all we want to do is copy this formula and actually say profit divided by, and then instead of profit, sales. And that should give us a non-existent number, which makes sense because we have numbers. So let's set that to a percentage. Let's say, uh, let me make sure we're catching it, format, and then let's say percentage. There you go. And just like that, let's say we wanted to hit color, say for border, I want to have an orange border. That way you get the kind of nice mapping that it's part of your, your vis. And so there you have it. That's another very simple way to create and to mess around with bar graphs. Now the third one, which is perhaps my favorite, is the stacked title. This one, I'll show you an image right here, is right here on the top left. This is a nice way, let's say you wanted to overlay the title of each entry above the graphs. I'll show you a very simple and cool way of doing it. So we start with the same data set. For this one, I'm going to let Tableau do the work. If I select side-by-side -side bars, 
and flip it over, you can see that Tableau has already created the start of the graph, right? Now here's where it gets a little fun. We're actually going to add a value to the right, which is just one. And I'm going to leave it as green because that's going to help us kind of see what's going on. Now the first thing I'm going to do is dual access as usual. And select both, actually, and make sure they're all bars. So here we have our issues. I mean, our data. Now the one, I want to make sure that it's an average. So that way they all have the nice same MIDI value. Now we're going to use the second pill and basically just hijack it to display as you could guess, the state. There it is. Now we want to play with the label settings and align it to the left. And there you have it. Now you have the state nicely tucked in. You want to play with the measures down here. And this is how you could bring it to the top. And just like that, now you have your state appearing on top. I don't want to have that green. So by clicking the measure name and double clicking, I could say, hey, let me use the eyedropper. And let me get a nice little white. Set it to white, and just like that, you're able to see, let's say, oh, there you go, you're able to see a stack chart. Now, the measure values, this is where you have your sales and profits. So, if you'd like to, you could actually drag the measure names into the label, and then let's say you want to drag also the measure value. Now, it's kind of stacked, so what I'm going to do is go to the label and edit it. And instead of being stacked, I want the value to appear at the end, and I actually want it to be bolded. So just like that, hitting apply, you'll see that it'll look very nicely. Here we have our viz. Now, the difference between this and mine is that I actually just went ahead and, you know, hit a bunch of this information. Show header. And then for measure names, show header. And there you have it. Just like that, we were able to build, this is your stacked title. You have a stack title bar chart. You have a bullet chart. Go ahead and hide this. Give us a nice little look. And a, I'm calling it a versus chart. I'm sure there's an actual name for it. And a really cool thing about this, if you actually flip it, you could create the same chart, but essentially now using a vertical versus horizontal. So there you guys have it. Uh, with Tableau, it's very easy to create new types of charts. 